I need someone who sees a bigger picture. And I would like to keep it that way. Admiral Constantine. Grand Admiral Thrall. Grand Admiral? The Emperor recently promoted me after my victory at Baton. Civilian casualties outnumbered the insurgents at the time. Acceptable margins, Agent Callus, for there are no longer rebels in that sector. Well, Thrawn, what do you think of Governor Price's theory about the rebels in the Lothal sector? This is a pirate our rebels rescued from Naraka prison, Honda Onaka. Within the last hour, the Phoenix Squadron destroyed mining wood ships using the Zurita hyperspace waypoint. Taken separately, they may seem unrelated, but Onaka's cellmate was a laborer at our Starfighter Reclamation plant in the Yama system, one jump point away from the Zerida attack. Grand Admiral Thrawn believes the Rebels intend to raid the plant and steal fighters for their fleet. Every ship they add to their arsenal increases a threat to our own Armada and the Emperor's plans. I trust you have a solution. I will start my operations here and pull the Rebels apart piece by piece. They'll be the architects of their own destruction. Contact Grand Admiral Thrawn immediately. We have the Admiral. Put him through. Update me on your progress, Governor. The situation is proceeding much as you anticipated. The Rebel fleet, composed of three star cruisers, have come to the rescue. That is not the Rebel fleet. Break off your attack and allow them to escape with their meager reward. Very good, Grand Admiral. Thrawn has a much larger objective in mind than the capture of a single Rebel cell. Stand guard. No one in or out. Well, I have increased security per your orders, Grand Admiral, but I don't understand why. The Rebel activity is far from here. It's closer than you think, Captain. Who was that blue guy? I don't know. Out of the way, servant! You are not permitted on these floors. I have told you people, restrict your movements to the kitchen. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Just a moment. Guards, bring her here. May I... See that. I'm a visitor to your world. It occurs to me it might be beneficial to hear what you have to say about our Imperial occupation. I don't think I could be of any help to you. No, oh, I disagree. Bring her to your office for questioning. Captain, do you recognize this? Yes, it, it was here in my office. No excuse. You shall make a valuable example to others of... She's far more valuable than you realize. Uh, how do you mean? To defeat an enemy, you must know them. Not simply their battle tactics, but their history, philosophy, art. So I will ask you again, Captain. Do you know what this is? It's a Kalikori. A revered twilight heirloom, passed from parent to child through generations, Worthless to outsiders, priceless to family. Yes, well, she stole it. Yes, but why? War. It's all you ever known, isn't it? You were so young when you survived the Clone War. No wonder you're as equipped in spirit to fight as well as you do. War is in your blood. I study the art of war work to perfect it but you you were forged by it sir she's just a peasant it doesn't matter where we come from admiral our will to be free is what's going to beat you 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 dare slaving please you embarrass me in front of our host may i introduce hera Sindula, rebel pilot freedom fighter and military leader daughter of your nemesis Jam Sindula. How did you know? Because rebels have friends always rushing to the rescue. 
An unexpected pleasure to meet you, Captain Hira Sindila. Wish I could say the same, Admiral. It is a pity our first encounter might well be our last. I will keep your Calicori in a place of honor. If I knew you'd take it, I would have smashed it when I had the chance. You surprise me. Is your history worth so little to you? It is not for some collector's curiosity. What did you say? Forgive him. I thank you for your hospitality. Have the Calicori transported to my ship. We should just destroy that piece of Twi'lek trash. <laughs> My apologies, Captain Slavin. I forgot not everyone is able to appreciate art as I do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm conducting an experiment that requires my attendance. I leave it to your command to finish the job. But we weren't ready for that, Admiral. I should have known better. All right, Captain Sindela. Let's see how you respond. are in range, sir. Hold your fire. They've earned their victory today. Admiral, the rebels are getting away! Oh, not to worry, Captain. I've found this whole experience to be very enlightening. The blockade over Sinistag is proceeding as planned. Martial law has been declared on my capo. But a small pocket of resistance continues to be troublesome. My cabo has no armed militia or starfighter corps. What resistance is there to be so troublesome? One ship calling themselves the Iron Squadron recently attacked an advanced patrol with the aid of this rebel vessel. Ah, the ghost. They're likely evacuating the Tresoner's inhabitants before we can arrest them. As for this Iron Squadron, very curious. Admiral Constantine, go to my cabo and lock down the system. No, Admiral. I want you to handle it yourself. A single light cruiser should be more than sufficient for a man of your talents. You would send me? In one ship? Unless you're not up to it. Thrawn overestimated these rebels. Commander Jin Sato, I wondered what it would take to motivate your return to my cargo. And now you know, Admiral. Until we meet again. Yes. Until we meet again. Admiral Constantine, you call for assistance. Quite the contrary. Admiral, I was contacting you to report the rebels have been driven from this system. I assume you mean the rebels and their sympathizers. Escaped. This factory is being honored by a surprise visit from Imperial High Command. Thank you for the introduction, Agent Gallus. My visit is not an honor, however, but an investigation. Thrawn! Vehicles assembled in this factory malfunction at a rate far higher than that of others. I believe poor craftsmanship is to blame, and it has cost your Empire troops and missions. This will not be tolerated. Worker 5473, you were pressed into the Empire service. Yes, sir. Do you stand by your work? This 624 AVA is the last bike you personally inspected and assembled. Please, demonstrate for me how quickly it can achieve full speed. We don't have all day. No, the demonstration is not yet over. Now that I have your attention, know this. Whatever you build here, you will test personally. I expect your malfunction rate to drop substantially. See to it that no one leaves or enters the facility. I wish to inspect the line for sabotage. Grand Admiral, you don't think the rebels have infiltrated Section A2 as well, do you? The secrecy of that project is... Is imperative. Which is why I've ordered anyone attempting to enter the area without my personal code to be terminated on site. 
You should not have compromised security here by hiring locals. All you need to know is that the Admiral has a new fighter initiative here. A new fighter? Difficult to see how one small ship will change much. Agent, victory and defeat are often determined by the smallest detail. For example, take this walker. Is this your work? Yes, sir. I oversaw its construction. Have the walker step forward. Watch it! The new Imperial in charge is pretty thorough. Didn't catch his name, but I hear he has red eyes. Grand Admiral Thrawn. It's the weakest point, so this Thrawn might expect it, but at least it'll keep his eyes off the factory for a bit. Sir. Lieutenant, what can you tell me about this? It looks like a section of the retaining wall, sir. Huh. Agent Callus. A creature of flight, rising in flames. A symbol of their commitment to victory. It is that. And more. I've seen it everywhere. Marking territory. It is a commitment. But to this world specifically, these rebels have an attachment to this place and will always return. So, have you found more subversives? Actually, sir, we've um, lost some. Two workers went missing after your speech. We found their uniforms. No, I think not. The defectors will have new disguises by now. They'll hide as technicians or troopers to gather data and escape. So, you think the rebels are more than just saboteurs? Indeed I do, Agent Callus. These rebels are after information likely heading to Section A2. Secure it. An unlicensed droid accessed the computer in Section A2. I can only assume that they've acquired my plans. But something has changed. The rebels should have attempted to escape via the factory by now. Well, maybe they realize they're trapped. More likely they have found an unexpected ally. Or perhaps... an expected one. The Rebels will attempt a different means of escape, and we must adapt our strategy accordingly. Grand Admiral, there is a small band of Rebels attacking the East Gate! Yes, Lieutenant, let's play their game. Attention, Walkers. Disregard the speeders. That ATDP is under rebel control. Destroy it! How'd you get past Thrawn with these plans? Thank you, Lieutenant. Dismissed. Agent Callus, I read your report. Several troopers confirmed your encounter with the Jedi. It was very helpful. Do you know, after analyzing the rebels' escape, it's clear to me they had help from one within our Imperial ranks. Patience, Governor. Acting out of emotion will not serve us here. We must wait and watch. And when we find our spy, and we will find them, we shall turn them from an obstacle to an asset. Wouldn't you agree, Agent Gallus? Your strategy is without flaw, Grand Admiral. As always. Is Admiral Thrawn there? We have reports of an increase in capital ships, but no confirmation as to whether he's How did this happen, Agent Callus? I suspect the Rebels captured a unit in the field and reprogrammed it to self-destruct upon its return to base. Quite ingenious, really. I'm inclined to agree. You seem in surprisingly good spirits, considering this loss. Loss, you say? The Rebels may have protected the location of their base for now, but... In doing so, they have narrowed my search. Before today, they could have been hiding in any of a thousand systems. But now... Now I know they are almost certainly on one of the 94 planets surveyed by my infiltrators. The Rebels have won this battle. But the war will be ours. 
Admiral Thrawn's fleet just arrived, and he has summoned us aboard his ship to show the Grand Admiral how effective I am in dealing with a rebel threat. A rebel prisoner for the Grand Admiral. Grand Admiral Thrawn's Star Destroyer? What in blazes are you doing there? Our clearance codes are for the light cruiser, not Thrawn's Star Destroyer. Thrawn is known for being thorough. Override code, rock. We're in need of his expertise. There's a rebel spy in our midst. Codenim Fulcrum. And perhaps today we're going to learn their true identity. A traitor in our ranks is feeding the rebels information. That is the only logical explanation for their success and our failure. I will do everything in my power to find this spy, Grand Admiral. Thank you for your enthusiasm, Lieutenant. However, few are above suspicion. ISB Colonel Yularen will question each of you. Our spy must be unmasked quickly, as I'm on the verge of locating the rebel base in this sector. I've narrowed it down to these worlds. An analysis of rebel hyperspace routes, their attacks on Imperial ships and facilities, and rather importantly, proximity to the Thal. You're dismissed. Thrawn has no proof yet, but I'm sure he'd be grateful if you kept an eye on her. He can count on me. Any progress? I'm certain the spy was present at our interviews. Now to see if they take our bait and warn the rebels. A coded rebel message was beamed from this ship right after an off-ship prisoner was transferred to your detention block, B-7. Well, then. Shall we visit this mysterious prisoner? I've just learned that Thrawn is very close to locating your base. So you can tell him? No way! You'll find out when we get there. Not if Thrawn destroys it first. I need to know its location so I can remove it from his database. If it's even on his list. We can accomplish both of our goals by infiltrating Grand Admiral Thrawn's office. We'll do it, but how will we know if Thrawn is in his office? Surveillance has been deactivated. And where are the guards? And where is the prisoner? The code records show your Lieutenant List was the last person to access this cell. Admiral Thrawn told you to expect us. Lieutenant List, Thrawn told me to expect you. Yeah, that a secret code was transmitted from Thrawn's office. You were right. Thrawn is close to finding our base. Unfortunate news. Grand Admiral Thrawn is headed for his office. What? I try to stall him. Oh, uh, wait. I can't. He's at the door. I'll handle it. Lieutenant List is inside, sir. Ready your weapon and follow me. Is everything all right, sir? Apparently so, yes. Override code, Rock. Come on, while he's distracted. code cylinder confirms our suspicions. Unfortunately, not in time to stop him from an assassination attempt on the Admiral. My apologies, sir. None required. He did not succeed. The Empire will make a note of your service, Agent Gallus. You may go. Thank you, Grand Admiral. 
Things have fallen, and I don't think Lieutenant List is capable of what you've accused him of. I agree. Sir, the prisoner's effects have arrived, as you requested. Colonel Yularen, what do you think of this design? A stylized expression of a Lothcat, a ubiquitous native of Lothal, and rendered by a very familiar artist. The use of this specific color, the angle of the line, this is the work of the rebel Sabine Wren. I believe this helmet belongs to her compatriot, the young Jedi, and I escaped prisoner, Ezra Bridger. If Bridger was the shuttle thief, why didn't Callus alert us? Because, Colonel Yularen, Callus is the rebel spy, Fulcrum. He used List's cylinder to impersonate and implicate him. And more importantly, he used the young Jedi's power to gain access to my office and reprogram my droids. Very skillfully, I might add. And that is why you and so many others have been deceived. I believe Agent Fulcrum will prove far more useful to the Empire than Callus ever was. The Rebel Squadron defended their transport vigorously, but we thwarted their attempt to refuel. Their cargo was something prized. A certain senator, I suspect. Senator Mothma? Her capture is a priority. If she escaped aboard the Ghost, where is she now? Not where you'd expect. Captain Sindela will be creative in avoiding your blockades. She will brave the unlikeliest path to transport her passenger out of the sector. There, the Archeon Pass. A favorite of Outer Rim smugglers. Through the nebula? Our capital ships can't follow her. Precisely. So I've readied my new prototype and our best pilot to hunt down and capture this rogue senator. Grand Admiral, allow me the honor of silencing her. Very well, Governor. Take Admiral Constantine to the far side of the nebula and wait there. When our fighters flush the rebels out into the open, you'll be in position to capture Senator Mon Mothma alive. She could be our key to locating the true rebel fleet. As you wish, Grand Admiral. I believe this C-1 astromech is the droid infiltrator Grand Admiral Thrawn referenced in his memo about the rebels of Phoenix Squadron. Admiral Thrawn will be so pleased. Governor Price, I bring urgent news. this secrecy truly necessary, Grand Admiral? We still have a traitor in our midst. We need to be highly cautious about what we discuss and where we speak. And what I'm about to say cannot fall into the rebel's hands. Admiral Thrall, I trust the information you have for me was worth the wait. The rebels of the so-called Phoenix Squadron are about to launch a major military strike against the Empire. They wouldn't dare. Oh, believe me, they would. Everything leading up to this moment has been rehearsal. The real performance is about to begin. I'm counting on it. You have my attention. What target will the rebels attack? I believe they're about to strike our most important facility in the region. The TIE Defender Factory right here on Lothal. My spies report General Dodana's fleet is en route to reinforce Commander Sato and Captain Sindela. I have yet to uncover its precise location, and it's exactly this moment I've been waiting for. To wipe them out. I want you to capture their leadership. In such a battle, it may not be possible to take prisoners. Oh, but a man of your talents will manage. If we are to crush this rebellion, we must make examples of its leaders. As you wish, Governor Tarkin. 
Thrawn knows about... By the light of Lothar's moons. That is your code phrase, isn't it, Agent Gallus? Or would you prefer I address you as Falkrum? I'm afraid your rebel friends won't receive your warning. <laughs> technique is good, but limited by your training in the Imperial Academy. Predictable. You talk too much. You have the heart of a rebel. You may have transmitted your warning agent, but in doing so, you've given me the last piece of the puzzle. Now, this is the trajectory of General Dudana's fleet, and this is the trajectory of your Fulcrum transmission. Taken separately, they mean nothing, but together... The rebels are smarter than you give them credit for. A pity you do not study art, Agent Callus. There is much it can show you, if you know where to look. Such as a system which does not appear on Imperial charts, but is represented in the art of the ancient people of this sector. I believe they call this Atalon, now the home of your rebel base. Admiral Constantine, deploy the fleet to these coordinates. We will join you shortly. Thrawn knows about... Thrawn knows? Knows about what? About the attack on the fall? Thrawn knows we're here. What of Governor Tarkin's prisoners? General Didana is known for his courage. He wouldn't be aboard the first vessel to flee. Its crew is therefore irrelevant. General Didana, Commander Sato, Captain Sindula. At last we meet in this theater of war, however briefly. There is no escape, and your forces are badly outnumbered. This uh, rebellion ends today. We'll never surrender to you, Thrawn. You misunderstand, Captain. I'm not accepting surrenders at this time. I want you to know failure, utter defeat, and that it is I who delivers it crashing down upon you. Now, let us proceed. We don't have the strength to meet Thrawn head on, but I will get us to safety. How do you propose we break his blockade? Thrawn believes this is the entire rebel fleet. Sato is employing a Danan tactic. Both, but I'd expect no less from the best commander to ever come out of the Mikabo system. Reinforce our center and send in the fighters. Yes, Grand Admiral. Constantine, keep your interdictor cruiser back until I order otherwise. Because I know these rebels, I've studied them. They will no doubt defy convention and attempt something unexpected. We will be prepared for it. As long as you do exactly as I say. As you wish. I do not require glory. Only results for my Emperor. Capital ships, hold your position. Their cruisers will have to come to us. But sir, Admiral Thrawn ordered us to maintain our position. Constantine, return to your assigned coordinates immediately. I've had enough of your games, Grand Admiral. Sir, one rebel ship escaped the blockade. Constantine was careless. Let's hope he did not undermine my efforts. Press the attack, force them to ground. I wish I could help you, Commander Bridger, but I can't. Doing so would play into Thrawn's hands, and he would wipe out all we've worked to build. I know. He planned this. Thrawn is preparing for a planetary bombardment. Thrawn is planning an orbital bombardment. You need to get back to base immediately. All right, Thrawn. Your move. Our capital ships are in position. The blockade is secure. And the status of the rebel fleet. Hmm. Very good. Let's test their metal. Commence the attack. They've had enough. Seize fire. I'm getting the feeling Thrawn's actually trying to kill us this time. Thrawn ambushed us on Adalon. Governor Price, you're in command of the fleet while I lead the ground assault. 
<laughs> hmm. The plight of your friends amuses you. I've been in your position before, only to have these rebels pull a victory from certain defeat. You and I are not the same, Callus, as these rebels are about to learn. Thrawn was trying to soften us up. He'll send in ground forces to do the dirty work. I agree, Captain. My guess is he will most likely stage a direct assault from this position. We can slow him down. He's launching the first wave. With Thrawn in command, you should count your losses and consider yourself fortunate to have escaped. They've revealed their meager defenses. Now, we will crush them. Mark enemy mines and firing positions. Heavy battalions, advance! Air groups, clear the sky of that annoyance. Armored division, hold your position and destroy any rebel ships that attempt to flee. Debark all ground troops and storm the base. And if possible, capture the rebel officers. And now, Captain Zendela, I will accept your formal surrender. Or you will watch your friends perish, one by one, beginning with the Jedi. I require an answer, Captain. You already know my answer. Do you fear the storm, Master Jedi? Yeah, and you should too. Hang on to something. What Jedi devilry is this? It would not seem so. You cannot see. But I can. What? What do you see? I see your defeat. Like many arms surrounding you in a cold embrace. In this recording, you will see the first test trial. As you see, the arc generator's energy pulse is drawn to the Beskar alloy in the Mandalorian's armor. The weapon is fully operational, as promised. Grand Admiral. Effective, yes. But you miss the true artistry of this weapon, Governor Saxon. It turns an armor, legendary foot strength, into a crippling weakness. And it strikes at the very heart of your people's tradition. You said the Emperor wanted this uprising dealt with quickly. This will end it. You're different than your brother. How would Gar Saxon feel about you betraying your heritage? Once your people see their sense of security turned against them, do you believe they'll swear loyalty to the Empire? A Mandalorian without armor is no more than a common soldier. Fear will compel them to join the Empire. We shall see. Of course, the weapon's range is far more limited than you promised. Or perhaps you thought I wouldn't notice. I only had pieces of the prototype. I've done everything I could. You cannot make it work properly because you do not truly understand it. You need the weapon's creator. You need Sabine Wren. If Thrawn hadn't found our base, we would have launched an attack. But instead, when we amassed our forces, we were routed by Thrawn's Starfleet and taught a valuable lesson. That we are not ready for open war. We promised Ryder we'd go back. And then Thrawn ambushed our fleet.
something terrible. Good afternoon, Commander. I'm eager to hear your opinion on the improvements made to the TIE Defender program. Allow me to present the Defender Elite for your inspection, Grand Admiral. And then I will provide you with a flight demonstration. They're headed for the fighter. I, I've almost got it. Just stole him. Stole him? How? It's Thrawn! A Jedi? Here? Ezra Bridger. Secure the prototype. Well, Ezra... Ezra? Hey! Fascinating. this part of the demonstration? They won't get far, sir. I will activate the ship's kill switch. Not yet, Governor. This is a perfect opportunity for a combat test. Scaris, send your pilots to intercept. Right away. I wonder who else is in that stolen fighter. Oh, I think not. If Captain Cinderella were piloting the ship, our fighters would not have survived this long. Ah, its transponder has been disabled in record time it's the Mandalorian. If someone of Ezra Bridges' modest skill can best three trained pilots, our new fighter will give us an overwhelming advantage against the Rebels. Governor, you may proceed. We've located the crash, Admiral. Very good, Governor. Secure the site. Ground units are en route. We have recovered your prototype, Grand Admiral. But its data recorder and hyperdrive are gone. The Rebels will attempt to deliver the recorder to the Rebel Command in hopes of studying the TIE Defender design for a weakness. The hyperdrive is too cumbersome for the Rebels to have carried it far on foot. They must have hidden it in the area. Which is why I've dispatched specialized assistance to your aid. I do not require assistance. The return of these Rebels to Lothal and the theft of my ship are two recent lapses proving otherwise. My agent, Roch, will arrive shortly. I assume you are Thrawn's assassin, Rook? Alert Admiral Thrawn of that Rebel ship! She's headed into the construction spheres. She'll be trapped. Sir. I regret to report that Captain Sindula has escaped. What about the blockade? And Admiral Thrawn? So the rebels have come at last. Twenty-four ships, Grand Admiral. Mixed group of fighters and bombers. Their target will be our factory and the fuel depot in the capital. Alert all commands. Deploy the fleet in defensive formation and launch fighters. Commander. The Rebels must not reach the planet's surface. I'll make sure of it, sir. My air defenses have been compromised. I am aware. An impressive level of coordination, though not unexpected. Oh, on the contrary, Governor, it's quite safe. I won't allow a single Rebel ship through my blockade. Head swing on attack vector. Scaris, break off your pursuit. Negative command. I almost have her. How oh, unfortunate. Open fire. But sir, Commander Scaris! Is playing into Cindula's hands. Now open... Fire! Hmm... Regrettable, but a testament to Captain Cindula's skill as a combat pilot. Contact the second wave and order them to intercept. Grand Admiral, the entire Rebel strike force was destroyed. However, reports indicate that a few ships managed to crash land in or near Capital City, including the one flown by the flight leader. And the Imperial factory? Undamaged, sir. Ah. Bro, Rebel pilots may have survived the attack. Capture them alive, if possible. 
Captain Singular in particular. It will be done, Grand Admiral. As she revealed the location of the rebel fleet, then allow me. I'll die before I tell you anything. I imagine you will, General, like so many of your friends in the failed attack, and so much of your family back on Ryloth. I wanted to ask you about your Kalikori. I'd like to know the deeper meanings of the pieces I collect. To me, they are not merely trophies, but symbols that truly represent some of my greatest adversaries. You don't need to know what it means, since I'll be taking it back. From my own analysis, I have determined that these shapes represent individuals important to you at some time in your life. This design I found most interesting, for it seems to refer to a brother, one who died while he was still quite young. I imagine it is a bittersweet memory for you. You aren't worthy of holding that, let alone understanding it. Of course, I do apologize. However, its legacy likely ends with you. You should take heart knowing that this work of art is at least appreciated by its new owner. Governor Price, I'll leave you to complete her interrogation. Your Thai Defender program is at risk. The Emperor has assured me that he supports my project. If construction of the Defender is to continue, you must make your case directly to the Emperor himself. I have already arranged the meeting. I'll leave immediately, Moff Tarkin. Commander, inform Governor Price I'm departing for Coruscant. As soon as you have your course, make the jump into hyperspace. So, you lost here a singular. Yet you hold the parade. Explain yourself, Governor Price. A celebration of our victory over the rebels, Grand Admiral. As for General Sindula, I have something better. <sighs> it's true, then. But the Jedi's death came at a cost. Did it not? Did you really believe that holding a parade would hide the fact that you destroyed our entire fuel supply? In defeating Kanan Jarrus, you have accomplished what the Rebels failed to, and given them a victory. The operation of Othal, my TIE Defender project, has been compromised. Uh, Grand Admiral, I... I will deal with you when I return. Governor. With their leader gone, the remaining Rebels will flounder, the boy especially. Use that against them, Rook. Expect them to strike out recklessly, and when they do, eliminate them. Identify yourself. You misunderstand, Captain. I'm not accepting surrenders at this time. Now, let us proceed. You know, the Grand Admiral has spoken highly of your talents. You know he's acquired a small correction of your work. I'm flattered. I had a vision. The Emperor is sending Thrawn back to Lothal. Thrawn will return soon. And if I do not have the Rebels, I will be executed. We wouldn't have been able to fool Thrawn, but you? The Rebels have captured Price. I have no doubt they've used her codes to infiltrate the Imperial Headquarters. To what purpose, I do not know. I expected Governor Price to fail, but not so completely. You must get inside and deactivate the shield generator before the Rebels lock down the Imperial Dome. And then... Then... Wait, I'm already en route. It's Thrawn. Thrawn is holding position directly overhead. If we launch the dome, we'll crash into his ship and destroy the entire city. Governor Price is our prisoner, and we have complete control of the Imperial Dome, with every trooper, pilot, and officer trapped inside. You failed, Thrawn. Leave Lothal, and we might let your troops out before we blow the dome to pieces. Are you quite finished? If you truly wish to save Lothal, Commander Bridger, the only term I'll accept is your immediate and unconditional surrender. 
Why would I surrender when I hold your entire army prisoner? No. You've simply moved my assets to a safe position, so that I can bombard the civilians of your home without incurring Imperial casualties. Your shield generator is under my control. Just so that you understand that my intentions are genuine, I shall demonstrate my power. Open fire. Enough! I surrender! I await your arrival, and make no mistake, come alone. If you attempt any heroics, I will resume the bombardment and destroy your city, and then your friends. Even if we do blow him The trick is to pull it off before Thrawn loses patience. We need to stall him somehow. It was a wise decision for you to surrender. Oh, nonsense. You could have chosen to let your people die. However, you chose to be a Jedi. Predictable. You follow a long history written by the Jedi where they choose what they believe to be morally correct instead of what is strategically sound. Hmm. The Jedi once numbered in the thousands. What's left are a scattered, frightened lot. Mostly beaten and in hiding or poorly trained children like yourself. I must admit, the mysteries of the Force are an enigma to me. But for all those abilities, all the power, the Jedi lacked the vision for how to wield it. The Force isn't a weapon, but you'll never understand that. Oh, I don't have to. It was not my intention to utterly destroy Lothal, but that is inevitable now. These are a few of the artifacts I've gathered from your home world. I saved what I could. I have even taken some of Sabine Wren's work. She's quite talented. Or was quite talented. You think you can take whatever you want? Things you didn't make? Didn't earn? Things you don't even understand. You don't deserve to have this art or Lothal. Who deserves what is irrelevant. What matters is who has power. But that is something that yet I won't teach you, so I'll take you to someone who will. My Embra, I have brought you Ezra Bridger. We were ambushed by that creature. <sighs> Thrawn's pet. That thing is gonna warn Thrawn about our attack. Ezra told me that there was a chance Thrawn would get back to the capital before they finished their plan. That will be all, Grand Admiral. I apologize. All batteries prepare full-scale bombardment of the city. On my command. Fire! Sir, they've engaged the shield. Rook! Rook! What's your status? Sorry, you'll have to call back. He's busy at the moment. Uh, yeah, um... Never mind about calling back. <laughs> Looks like you lose, Thrawn. A momentary setback. Sir, several unidentified objects have just entered orbit. My blockade will intercept them. They've destroyed the blockade. Our ships are just... gone. Get Captain Pallion. Sir, they came out of hyperspace! I've never seen... Admiral, we have incoming. Take a look.
Then you know what I want. You will learn nothing from me. How many lives is the knowledge I possess worth to you? Tell me what I want to know. Where is your master? Now tell me. Where is your master? Where is Grand Admiral Thrawn? Grand Admiral Thrawn's return will herald in the re-emergence of our military. You always speak with much authority. And yet, I see, once again, that Grand Admiral Thrawn is missing from your delegation. Any word on when he will be able to participate in the Shadow Council? Huh. With respect, our one hope for success relies upon the secrecy of his return. Captain, secrets are my stock in trade. I hear whispers from one end of the galaxy to another, and never a word of Thrawn. You have spoken of his imminent return.